We did it. We finally made it to peak week. We are officially six days out. Nothing really has changed. My cardio has dropped. We're down to 30 minutes, and that is that has been a breeze. Currently on our way to go train legs, heading up to the Fuel Fortress, which is up in Kentucky. Going to see some friends up there, getting some body work done today. I'm excited. Today should be a good day. Getting ready to eat my my pre-workout meal. Got a little bit of a drive ahead of us, but that'll give it enough time to like digest and whatnot. I'm excited and happy that I am getting some body work done. I was planning on trying to get some done anyway, but my friend Jenny reached out to me and offered for me to come up and get some done, and it just kind of worked perfectly with my schedule, so we're doing that. It also is kind of good timing because on Friday, already for the sake of like how dry my body is and everything that's going on, I've been like pulling back on weights and just kind of focusing on like the reps trying to leave a couple a couple reps left in the tank so I'm not like pushing to like complete failure trying not to injure myself or anything like that on Friday literally my first exercise second set was like 15 pounds down from what I normally do and I tweaked my my shoulder my front delt thankfully like nothing tore it's definitely not happy with me we don't have chest day again until Tuesday so hopefully it's good enough by then to where I can actually like put some a little bit of pressure on it and actually train it. So we'll see see how everything goes today. But yeah, we just we're just now hitting the road. Be there in about an hour or so. I'll catch y'all then. So we're here, we made it, we're at the Fuel Fortress up in Kentucky. We're hitting some legs today. So going into this week for peak week, the main thing that Rob told me to do, really I guess whenever it came to my split, is just like what to hit on those days. And so today is the last leg day. But other than that, he didn't really tell me what to hit. Yesterday I did a posterior day with my friend Brittany. So working with Brittany, uh, we focused more on what she was doing that day, just for the sake of like my injury and stuff like that. I didn't want to try and like do my normal stuff. Um, and more so since she was focusing on posterior and lower body stuff, a little bit of back. And I was like, I can work with that. So we did hamstrings yesterday. If you want to see that, go check out our TikTok. And you'll see the, the full day that we did together. But going into today, today's gonna be a quad focus like day. I'm gonna be using, since I don't have a set one, we're gonna be doing Chris Bumstead's uh, standard app, his favorite leg day. I'm gonna keep the weights lighter, still go for the reps and everything that are in the program there. But just got warmed up with some walking lunges. Everything feels good right now. Definitely a little tired, but leg day. Let's get this last leg day started. Also just haven't done barbell back squats in a while, so definitely gonna make this lighter for sure. Just kind of focus on the rep load that's in each app or each section. Looks like I've got five total set, sets, three look like warm-ups. It's like a warm-up of 12, then I got or it's a set of 12, 10, 8, and two sets of six. Looks like three counting centrics and then a one-count pause in the hole.
I didn't realize there was a bag of Skittles here taunting me. It's full. Such a waste of Skittles. Safety first. Maybe a little bit lighter, or maybe a little bit heavier. But we'll do this for the set of eight, two sets of six, and I'll stay at 2.5. Sets of 10 with the hack squat. Honestly, I'm probably gonna keep it where it's at right now in terms of the weight. I got it banded, but focusing on the control. It's three count eccentrics, one count pause in the hold, powerful concentric, etc. I got this hack squat, pendulum, walking leg lunges, like a couple sets of leg extensions. It's kind of like burning. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if this gym has the pendulum squad, so I might skip that, which I'm okay with.
I'll go just the place for now. Very minimal pressure too. Yeah. You don't need it. Does it hurt? No. 
Final leg day. We got through all of that. Honestly, the sets following in the way that they were set up within the the C bomb app was like super nice and effective. More so instead of like, or more so instead of like going for my normal rep schemes that I go for, which is usually just like as many warm up sets as I feel like I need. Top set back off or two working sets and then an intensifier. It structured it to where like. Focusing on the overload, but also focusing on the control, finding where I need the weights to be at, while also still leaving like a couple reps left in the tank. Because, like, it's peak week. I'm not trying to grow any more tissue or anything like that. Really just trying to stimulate the muscles to make sure that I'm maintaining the size. And I, I feel like I got a decent enough, like, pump, like, just very minimally for the end enough for like my posing and stuff like that but then after that we got our, our body work done i needed that i really needed that especially from jenny jenny is a great friend i love her so much so having the opportunity to go up and see her see tyler her boyfriend 
just see some friends that I haven't seen in a while. We, she did a whole body overhaul. She did lymphatic drainage. She kind of explains what she goes through. But for my hamstrings, my hamstrings, goodness gracious, that hurt so much. So, especially like post-show, getting body work done regularly, great leg session, great to see those friends. We're on our way back home now. I'm excited. Oh, also after sending in my like check-in post-workout pictures, all cardio cut. So we're done with cardio. Now we're just focusing on training, eating, resting. And then obviously still I have my step goals and stuff like that, which probably need to get in a little bit more, but I'm pretty sure I hit it all. I'll double check whenever I get home just to make sure I've hit my step goal, but we did it. Still don't feel the greatest in terms of like depletion, but I mean, I got the response that I was hoping to get in terms of like, I guess sending in those check-in photos. He was just like, we're flat, but that's where we want to be. So I'm happy about it. Very excited for the show. Like I've been very excited for the show ever since we started prep, but especially like as we get closer, been more and more excited, but I haven't really been able to show that I'm excited or like feel that I'm excited just for the sake of how exhausted I was, how overworked I was. But now that we finally made it to peak week, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it in my heart and it makes me happy. Again, I know I've said this time and time again, I really don't care how we place this show. I'm just looking forward to stepping on stage again. I wanna bring the best package to the stage that I've brought to date and already even if it's just for like how flat I am, if I were to bring this version of myself to the stage with no pump, that would be better than what I did at my, my first show. So like even if I walk on stage and no pump, but I look, as, I look the way that I do now, we're gonna look great. And that's all I care about. I need to finish, like I, I have my routine, I have the poses and everything. I need to run through it a couple more times, especially over the next couple days, make sure I really have it ironed out the way that I need it to be. But everything's looking good, everything's shaping up well. I am so excited for this weekend. Thank you so much for following me in this journey. I think I'm genuinely gonna cry. But yeah, thank you for following me in this journey. If you like following along, leave a like. It really means a lot to me. Leave a comment down below. Tell me your favorite season, your favorite holiday, maybe both. Because uh, for me, favorite season is definitely fall, and we're hitting that fall weather right now. We've had like a high of 60, like mid 60s. Like right now it's a little warmer, it's like 74 right now. But even then, that's like hoodie weather for me. Especially like right now with having low body fat, everything is hoodie we weather for me. Hoodie and joggers. I live and thrive in that. I love the fall, I love the colors of fall. And then also with Peak Week ending, it's like ending just in time for like Halloween. We're gonna celebrate Halloween the following weekend and I can enjoy that. I have my costume picked out and everything. But I wanna show off my Halloween costume because I think it's really funny and literally I planned this Halloween costume over a year ago whenever I finished my last show and we were planning on doing Night of Champions, which is Halloween time. So it's just like, this will be perfect for me to do this costume around the time of this show. It'll look great. I think it'll be really funny, but also really cool. Also ending peak week, like now I can look forward to like Thanksgiving. I can look forward to Christmas and enjoying those. I can look forward to Halloween and having my sweet treats. So yeah, comment down below your favorite season, comment your favorite holiday. Tell me what you like about them. Like, why do you love the season you do. Why do you love the holiday that you do? Uh, and then if you really enjoyed just like following along with me and my journey, I would love if you guys subscribe to the channel. The more people that I have around, the more that I can share this with you, the more I can be my authentic self. And I want to continue to share that journey with you guys from week to week, day to day as I post, whatever it may be. Thank you for being around. We're six days out. 
six days out. I'll see you guys tomorrow.